Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. And I got another uh, brand new model for you here that I've never filmed before. This is a Champion Hidden Creek model 6523P. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1580 square foot home. So I'm not gonna be able to show you a whole lot on the back side. And in case you're wondering, we are at uh, Luxury Homes here in Springville, Utah. Just want to say thank you for letting me come down and film your homes. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and head on in since I'm not going to be able to show you much of the backside. So when we come in, got this nice big living room. Nice light fixture up above with a that fan feel, sure feels good. It's a hot one today. Nice set of windows there. Big living room area here. And off of your living room, your front door is right there. Here's going to be your coat closet. So not too far off the entranceway. And in case I didn't mention it, this one does have the smuggler's pantry. Now I looked at the floor plans because I got them sitting right there on the counter. If you didn't want the smuggler's pantry, if you wanted an upstairs or a downstairs, and I think it's pretty much just downstairs, there is an option that instead of the smuggler's pantry, you can get your stairs right there to go down into your basement. Nice sized dining area. But you could easily fit a longer rectangular table in there and get a little more seating. And your center island here has got lots of cabinet space in it. You got your garbage bin. Nice to see that not every home comes with one. And on the back side here, you've got uh, some extra seating area. And I really like this color that they used on the cabinets. Once again, you've got fully adjustable shelves. And as you can see, you've got the center support, soft closed doors. But I like that center support because it means you can add a lot of weight to the shelves and you don't have to worry about the center sagging on you. Of course you got the black Whirlpool appliances, gas top stove, nice set of drawers right next to your stove there, down below here. So this cabinet goes way back into the corner. My guess is the Lazy Susan's going to be up here. Nope. No Lazy Susan in this home. Just a big deep corner cabinet. And you've got your nice window above your sink there. Kind of a different layout for the backsplash here. Usually you see that stuff running horizontally instead of vertically. Nice to see they did something different. Of course, we can't forget. I guess I've had a few people try to pull it in or pull it instead of push.
and it's a little bit different. Usually you see these shelves run all the way down. They've got a nice great big area here with dual plugs. That's something you don't usually see in your pantry. So nice to see a different layout. You got room for big storage down below. So it's nice that you've got this like this, so you can put your bigger, um, smaller appliances in there. If that makes sense. Let's go take a look at the kids' rooms. I guess we'll start with the bathroom. So you've got, once again, a set of four drawers right there. And we won't look at this one because we know the electrical is going to be in there. So we'll take a look at this one. Nice big counter space in here. It's going to get that one piece of shower tub combo. And I didn't point it out, but you got this really nice flooring that runs in your kitchen too. And your, of course, your pantry and all that. So bedroom number one, these are decent sized bedrooms here. You know, it is just under 1600 square foot. So, you know, nothing's going to be super large. So don't expect the bedrooms to be extra large. But they are good sized bedrooms here still. I mean, that is a single, and you can see you've got still a lot of room in here. Bedroom number two. I think this one is a little bit bigger. Just based on kind of what I see with the way it's laid out. Same size bed. There appears to be a little bit more room in here. Let's go down what we've all been waiting for. Now I haven't really told you a whole lot about the uh, master bathroom in here. So I'll just have to let you see. I know you're gonna like it. Of course we're gonna shut the door though so I don't give anything away. Now, as you can see, your master bedroom has got a lot of room in here. And granted, that's, I guess that is a queen size bed, but pretty darn close to it, maybe a double. But you've got room for a couch and you got room for a sitting chair. And then we've got Kind of a walk-in closet, but lots of room in there for hanging. But as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. And now for your bathroom. The master suite, I guess you could call it. <laughs> okay, so it is only a single sink, the same tile that you had in the kitchen for your backsplash. Nice set of drawers right there. Lots of cabinet space down below. Hello Raiden. And once again, my shirt looks orange instead of red. Right, so this was the feature that I was trying to hide from you in the bathroom. Really nice set of walk-ins. And I think I forgot to get the uh, utility room. That's on the back side of this. <laughs> so when I first walked in here, I thought, based on this layout, the water heater was gonna be back behind all that. 
Well, in your utility room, you have shelving back there. I'll have to go show that to you when we're done. So unfortunately, we're gonna end this one with the utility room instead of the master bathroom. Of course, your toilet's right next to your shower, right behind your door here. I don't know if you can option in a tile shower, but I know you can option in the uh, shower tub combo if you wanted a tub instead of just the shower. Now let's go get the utility room. Cause I think I forgot it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Because there's your furnace, your electrical panel. There's those shelves I was talking about that's back behind your, your uh, where I thought the water heater was gonna be. Do got room for a full size washer and dryer. Nice set of cabinets up above it. And you can't see it, but there is a plug-in right back there, so you can put a small stand-up freezer in there. So it's nice to know that they thought about that. I've seen a lot of times where there's room for that, but there's no plug. And there's your water heater, by the way. So really nice to see that they've thought about a lot of things that you don't normally see, including, and I saw them here, the updated electrical outlets with USB charging ports. And with that, you should charge yourself down to that comment box and uh, leave me a comment. What do you think about the home? The upgrades that they made, the nice things that they've done with it, that kind of stuff. And while you're there, don't forget to make sure that that subscription box is uh, turned gray. The notification bell is turned on, so that way you get notified when I upload videos three times a week. Those videos are on Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right, so let's do the outro of this one while we're still in the home. So this home, as I said, was a uh, three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,580-square-foot home. Really nice layout. I really like the cabinets and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. So the starting price on this home, of course, is at time of filming in August of 2022. Of course, there could be other city, county regulations, other things like that. Maybe some extra setup fees, depending on where you have the home delivered. Keep in mind, prices vary. They go up, they go down, that kind of stuff. So starting price on this home is $181,000. As shown, this price or the price they have listed on this home is $199,000. So not too bad for the size of the home, especially for all the little updates that they've done. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.